Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to part 9. Now this is going over scaling. Now, I think the last two videos ago I made a Make 2D tutorial, or Make 2D part. It's pretty simple. But now we're going to go over scaling, because this is right now at full scale, so we took the model at full scale. So we want to scale this perspective drawing at around the 16th of an inch. So the way we're going to do that is... Um, Oh, one more thing before I start. Sorry, in the background again, my 3D printer is running. I'm just going to let you guys know that, so I'm trying to talk a little louder, but it's like a constant noise, so I apologize for that. Anyway, so in order to scale this geometry, there's, um, let me look it up online real quick. There's something that I want to show you guys, an online resource I use. Uh, because I used this when I was first learning how to scale in uh, Rhino. So... This website's pretty useful. It's like the first thing on Google if you search up scale factor architecture. This is extremely useful. Uh, this is my YouTube. Um, it's extremely useful. It spells out how to calculate scale factor and all the kind of architectural ones if you want. And they give you already the scale factor for you. So this is really nice to have. And I use this sometimes. If I'm really lazy and I already have it up, I just kind of look at scale factor. I mean, it's it's really easy math. I'm going to show you guys real quickly. But, yeah, that's the website. It's actually, let me, I'll put this in the description, but uh, arctoolbox.com. Really nice. They also go over a lot of other things, too, but that's the main one I found useful. So let's say we want to scale it to a sixteenth of an inch. So the way to scale to a sixteenth of an inch is very, very simple. So if you want to scale it like that, you're going to first take the reciprocal of sixteen, or of one sixteenth, which is a uh, sixteenth. So also, one more thing, Rhino has a calculator feature as well. So you can type in calc, and it will pull up the Rhino calculator. So this is really useful to have. So we know that we're starting with the number 16. So when we have the scale factor, a scale factor is always you do the reciprocal first, then you multiply the reciprocated number by 12, and then you re uh, and then then uh, do the reciprocal again of the number that you get when you multiply by the product of 16 times 12 or whatever times 12. So in this case, we did the reciprocal check. We need to multiply it by 12, so do multiply it by 12, enter, 192. So what does that number mean to us? Alright, so number 192 is the scale factor. Now if you want to shrink it to a the drawing scale of 1 16th inch equals 1 foot 0 inches, all you have to do is highlight this, you type in scale, and remember the last part I said was to... Uh, do the reciprocal of 192. So the reciprocal of 192 is 1 over 192. So it'll ask for a base point and press enter for automatic. I'm just going to click here. doesn't really matter. Uh, and then it asks for a scale factor or a first reference point. So we only we are going to tell it what the scale factor is and it'll automatically scale for us instead of using uh, a reference point. So it'll be 1 over 192 and then hit enter then now we have our drawing and since it's gumballed um, what you want to do is move your drawing to the C plane or near the origin as close to the origin as possible and then we can use zoom select right here and click that and now we have our drawing at a 16th of a scale and now we got that number 192 and you're like that's probably arbitrary and I just made that up but we can go back to the website and we can see the scale factor is 192 and the viewport scale is 1 over 192 now let's say that you want to do more to this drawing at full scale for some reason um, to change it what's going on uh, yeah I don't want that on there uh, come on come on there we go okay so to change that to change this back to full scale type in scale Base point random, doesn't matter. Just kind of near it. Doesn't have to be very it doesn't have to touch it or anything or snap to the geometry. So it asks for a scale factor or first reference point. We're gonna give it a scale factor of 192. So we're gonna do the inverse of 1 over 192, or the uh, reciprocal, which will be 192. Hit enter. And now it will be back to full scale. 
And that's pretty much it for scaling. It's very, very easy. I just wanted to show you guys that because I think that's really important. It's so simple, but a lot of people have trouble scaling. And I'm this is so easy. So don't mess this one up. This one's really easy. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later.